Now at 530, plastic bags are clogging up the state landfill. And officials say plastic shopping bags continue to make their way into household recycling bins, and workers are left scrambling to remove them from recycling equipment. Now they're asking Rhode Islanders to be more careful. The Green Team's Pete Mangione has more from the Northwest Mobile Newsroom in Johnston. Every time you throw a plastic bag into the recycling bin, it means more extra work here at the recycling center. You're looking at what's left of a plastic bag after it has become tangled in the recycling equipment at the materials recycling facility in Johnston. They rip apart and they wrap around our equipment, making it very, very difficult for us to do our job. Sarah Kite Reeves from Rhode Island Resource Recovery says that's bad for several reasons. First, the bags are now dirty and could no longer be recycled, so it's off to the landfill for them. Secondly, the machines have to be shut off and the crew has to remove the bags. You can see it's not a quick process. So that happens twice a day during the production shift, and then at the end of the shift, it takes about another hour or so every day just to slice off these bags. Kite Reeves says the small plastic bags end up in recycling bins because people often use them to bundle recyclables like water bottles and cereal boxes. Instead, she recommends using paper bags, which are fine to put in the bin, and are more than welcome here on the recycling conveyor belt. As for where to put all of those small plastic bags, Many grocery stores like here at the East Side Market in Providence have drop-off recycling slots. But remember, these are for clean bags only. Using them to pick up after your dog when you take your dog for a walk. Those are very appropriate uses, but those bags need to go in with your garbage into your large garbage bag and not into the recycling bin. Now there are certain types of plastic bags which are allowed in the recycling bins. For more details on that, we've put a link on our website at WPRI.com. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.